welcome at template redesign and today we're going to make this beautiful landing page this landing page consists of a logo some remote buttons and one big slider underneath this image you have two buttons this button links to the product description that's what you found over here if you go to the next image next slider we get the orange one and if you go to the product description over here you get a different product description and if you go to the last one to the black and now we don't use the arrows but the black button over here we go to the black bike and if you go to the product description it's also different then so you can customize it all you want okay let's get started we are going to start to make the blue bike first go to the settings open the page layout and change it to elementor canvas then drop in your first container Make the content width full width and change the width to 100%. Make the minimal height 52. The direction is vertical and the justify content is center. Now drag in your second container. Also make the full, full width 100% and change the height to 51. Make the item direction vertical, center, align items, center. Make sure in the advanced setting the padding and margin buttons are set off. The gap between the elements has to be set on 100 pixels. In the first container you want to change the background. We we'll change it to a gradient background and make it a little blue. Make the second color a little darker. The location has to be set on 100, type radial and the angle center center. In the second container you have to drop in our image and pick the blue image, the blue bike. Then change the image to medium large, go to the advanced tab and make the width full width, alignment center and give it a padding and margin. The margin on the left side has to be 25. Also you have to change the position of the container. The container where the image is placed in has a margin of minus 28. Now go back to your image Open the start tab and give the width of 50, a view width of 50. And now the first image is done. The next step is to make the two buttons underneath the image. For that step, you have to drag in another container. This container has a full width of 100. The item direction is set to row horizontal, justify content center, align items center, and a gap between 100. Then drag in your first button. Then drag in your button. This button will be the product description. Then go to the style tab, change the typography to Montserrat, change the EM size to 1, give it a semi bold of 600, and make the text color black. Change the background color to transparent. Then go to the advanced tab and open the border type. I gave it a border. With a width of 1, the border has to be black and the border radius is set to 50. I also changed the width of this button, changed it to custom and I gave it a percent of 28. Now go back to the content of your button and set it to center. Now the styling of your button is done, but when I hover over it, nothing changed. So I go back to my advanced tab, open the transform, go to hover and make the scale 1.1. Now when I hover over it, it will be get bigger. When I go to the content of this button, I have to link section 1. Make sure this item is placed before it, because now when we click over it, we will go to section 1 of all the product descriptions. Now you can copy this button and change the background of it. The next step, what we're going to make is the product description page. Okay, the next step is to add in another container. Let it stay unboxed. With a view height with a width of 100% and a minimum height of 50. The item direction row horizontal, justify content, center, and the align items also at center. Now drag in your first text editor with another image. Change the image to the image that you like and make it medium medium. And the width of this image is gonna be 50%. Then go to the advanced tab of this image and change the width 
to 50%. Also go to the advanced tab of this text editor, go to custom and change the width to 50%. And I have set the position of my text to the center. Also the text color has to be black and the typography has to be on Montserrat with an EM of 1 and a bold of 400. Now you can copy this and for the next one we change the position of the text and the image and we change the image. This one is pretty big so I make it a little smaller like this. Now this was the first part. Now we want to make this button work. This button we have to set to section 1. If you go to the containers over here then you go to the CSS ID and now it should work and as you can see it works fine. To make the slider work I have to change these four containers into one big container. This is how I'm going to do that. I make one container, put it to full width, 100%, set the link values off and if I'm going to grab the first four containers and I paste them inside of this big one. Now we'll delete the first four containers and this is what you need to do because otherwise you cannot make the slider. Okay, this is the first one. Now we're going to duplicate it three more times. And we're going to change the background and the image of the bike, of course, to make the slider. Okay, now we have the three bikes finished. This is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the last one. The only thing I need to do is to change the buttons. The second button, make it section two. Change this container over here, change it to class ID section 2 and also do that for the last button, change it to section 3 and the first container over here, change the CSS ID to section 3. Now when I click on this button it will go to section 3 and also it's for this button it go to section 2. And the first one already worked. The next step is to make the mega slider. So we're going to close these containers to get a little bit organization. We have three big containers. Now we go to the fourth one. And we're going to drop in the mega slider of unlimited elements. Auto place off, off, touch track off, arrows also off. And we choose animation, fade in, out animation. Then we go to the connect widget settings, set one. Enable sync group one and the items we're gonna use make three items. We're gonna call the first one one, the second one we call it two, and the last one we call it three. Now go to your containers, go to the advanced tab, change the CSS ID to one and to three. Of sorry, the first one to one, the second one to two. And the last one, change it to 3. Before we're going to look to the result, make sure the last container of your mega slider has a full width of 100 and in the advanced tab the link values are set off. Then also make sure that the image has a left padding of 25%. Now when we're going to watch it, you see that the bike is in the middle and that everything is working fine. Now we're gonna make the heating. First, drag in a container. Make it full width, the view height of 10, item direction row, space between, and an element gap of zero. The next step is to drag in your heating. I've made my heating white, the typography of Montserrat 1.5. The next step is to drag in the remote tabs. You can place them underneath your heating. Now they are under my heating. Now we're going to style our remote tabs. The set layout to row, the gap is on zero, and the justified content is on center. For the layout, you don't have to change anything. The items, I have a slider of three sections, so I'm going to make three remote arrows. The first one is the blue one, and I gave the table label of one. The second is the orange one. And the last one, it's the black one and it was number 3. Now go to the style tab, 
press on item bottom type solid and I have only on the right and the left side now add a border on the right one and on the left one go to the title and make the title white now you won't see it anymore but when we hover over it we want to also have white but with a little transparency and also make it for the active one the text we don't have any text so you can now go to the advanced tab and this is the remote tabs that we made if you want to go back to the container make sure the height is not set so we can delete this and delete the padding and the margin we want a margin on top of one percent the only thing that we need to change is the position of this container so go to position in the advanced step absolute horizontal orientation on the right offset top and now you can scroll to the top and you can see here the design also make sure you add a set index to the remote arrows i have a set index of 10 and when i press on update and go to my preview you can see it's now all nice and it also works the last two things that we need to change is we had to add the remote arrows and we have to set the loop on off so we go to your mega slider go to the content and set the auto play on off the loop sorry has to be on then add in a container full width of of course 100 advanced settings link margins off and drag in the remote arrow go to your container make sure justify content center the alignment in vertical direction center center go to your style tab if you go to the button you can the color make it transparent any icon size of 25 now the last thing that you need to do is to change the position of this container go to the advanced tab set the position to absolute now it will go up so it's set to the right and have a vertical offset of 50 percent also make sure the set index is on is higher than zero now press an update yes it is so much better now when i press on the buttons and everything is working how we want to work it i hope you like this tutorial and if you like it please like and subscribe and see you at the next tutorial and if you want to download this template please go to my website template-redesign.com and search for design number six or if you want to learn how to download this design please watch this video bye